They're providing year-round sports training and athletic competition for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the President and CEO of Special Olympics Michigan, Lois Arnold. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It's nice to be here. What uh, exactly, for folks that have heard about Special Olympics certainly all their lives, uh, what exactly do you do? How do you work? Well, Special Olympics is a volunteer-based program for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. And so we have a lot of volunteers out there that are interested in um, providing those services to people throughout the state of Michigan. And uh, kids, adults, anybody who might want to get involved, uh, you have, uh, I think, 20-some different sports they can choose from? Yes, we do. We have 22 different sports, and we run all year long. So. We start in the winter with, of course, our winter sports, the skating, downhill skiing, um, snowshoeing, snowboarding, cross-country skiing, etc. Run into basketball season. Our biggest event of the year is our summer games. And then we roll into our softball, golf, um, fall sports season, and then end the year with our poly hockey. And you do not discriminate when it comes to age. Uh, anyone of any age really can be an athlete. Uh, you start uh, with the very young, with your young athlete program uh, for kids. What, about two to seven? Yes, yes, that's right. We have community-based young athlete programs and we have young athlete programs in schools as well. Those are a little bit more like play activities leading up to the sports. And then once our athletes um, get into the eight years old, they can start competing. So we have individual and team sports, and we have sports of a variety in the nature. So it might be a walking activity, it might be a softball throw, a track event, or it could be a team sport. So no matter what your ability, there's a, a good fit for you or your interest somewhere within a Special Olympics, it sounds like. Yes, absolutely. We have some modified sports, some that are a little bit easier for some athletes, and then some very challenging sports. Some of our athletes are extremely well trained and knowledgeable in their sport. Tell me a little bit about your, your unified program. This is sort of a way to get uh, your Special Olympic athletes uh, perhaps uh, working and participating side by side uh, with uh, athletes that uh, do not have disabilities. Yes, that's right. Um, Special Olympics has really in the last 10 years grown to a fully inclusive sports activity program. So. What we do is we offer sports that um, children and adults with and without intellectual disabilities can participate as a regular member of the team with their people that are traditional Special Olympic athletes. Um, when that happens in a school setting, what we find is friendships are built, the culture changes in the school. We actually have statistics that show graduation rates are going up mm -hmm. and suspension and dropout is going down because of the friendships that are being built. So our unified sports program is beautiful. We love that. Sounds awesome. When you're not um, organizing competitions and training athletes, uh, you are also uh, running something called the Healthy Athlete Program, really making sure that all your competitors are in tip-top shape. Yes, that's right. Our Healthy Athlete Program really runs at our events that we offer. So someone could come in and get a sports physical. All of our athletes have physicals before they participate. Um, and they're good for three years. So someone could get that or they could get vision screening. We have provided free eyeglasses that are usually um, ground right during the state summer games and the athletes can pick out their own eyeglasses, whatever they like. There's dental screening, there's hearing screening. We actually have gotten funding at um, sometimes to provide hearing aids. So it's just a great thing to see for our athletes. All right, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Should uh, also mention you run 100% on volunteers. You're always in need of donations, just like any nonprofit. If you would like to volunteer, if you would like to donate, if you would like any more information on Special Olympics Michigan, you can visit SOMI.org or call toll free 1-800-644-6404. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Lois Arnold, the President and CEO of Special Olympics Michigan.